Hi, it's Sarah Reynolds with Empower Home, and I wanted to do a video about the market and give you an, an update as to what's going on in the market. I know that there's a lot of concerns right now with inflation, with interest rates, um, and, and softening of the market, and what that means for you, what that means for you. So I wanted to do a quick video on that. Before I dive into the meat of the video, I do want to say thank you. Thank you for trusting us. Thank you for trusting me. Thank you for trusting my partners. Thank you for trusting us um, with helping you navigate this. Um, and it, we do not take your business, business for granted and we are so, so grateful for you. Um, and so thank you so much. Now our job is to interpret the market. We don't determine it. We don't get to control it. We don't determine it. But our job is to interpret the market to make sure that you get the most money possible, which is what we specialize in, getting our sellers the most amount of money. Now, there's three types of market. There's, there's a buyer's market, which means that there's seven months or more of inventory. There's a seller's market, which is five months or less of inventory. And then there's a balance market, which is anywhere between five to seven months in inventory. Now, in most of our markets, we are in a seller's market still in terms of inventory levels, but we are starting to see major softening and shifting in the market. Um, and that's been happening now for about six weeks. So six weeks ago, we started seeing a decline in number of showings per listing. Now, that's the leading indicator on what the market is telling us, um, which number of showings per listing. So we started seeing a decline in that. We also started seeing a decline in number of multiple offers and number of contracts and offers on each home that we are listing. So I started getting pretty concerned um, six to eight weeks ago based on the data that I was looking at. And so we started seeing that. Now we were concerned with that data, but we weren't scared <laughs> because the good news is, is that we know what we're doing. Um, I have personally seen multiple markets, including the Great Recession, and navigated helping thousands of buyers and sellers uh, during that time, as well as all of my partners. So the good news in this is that you are not alone. We absolutely know what to do, and we are 100% keeping your bottom line and you getting the most money at the forefront of what we do. That is what we do better than any other business it is to focus on ensuring that you get the most amount of money and making sure that we're setting you up for success. And that has not gone away. We are still 100% focused on that. The difficult thing, so that's the good news. The difficult thing is obviously giving bad news, which is what the market is doing. So we are 100% in a market shift in real estate. So over the last 18 months, we have seen prices increase at a drastic rate. Uh, which is awesome, and um, it has impacted affordability. So you mix up pricing going up 18 months with, with also interest rates going up. Obviously, buyers cannot afford to keep that kind of increase in terms of payment. Um, and so we are ha having to see a shift and a softening in the real estate market to ensure that buyers can still afford it, right? Without any buyers, we have no market. Um, and so they have to be able to afford it. Um, and so this is the key. What we have learned in the many markets that we have seen that are just that are like this, what we have learned is the seller that leads the market will always get more money than the seller that follows the market. So the seller that leads the market will get more money than the seller that follows the market. So let me explain. When you're in a shift or a softening of market, that means that the market is on a decline. Okay. So every single week that goes by, the market is actually decreasing. What a lot of sellers think is best is to like just follow it, meaning like watch the market and then just follow it. So if someone reduces their price, they then will reduce their price. That's following versus leading. Leading is actually being the first one to make the price adjustment to where buyers see the value in the home. And so how we do that is make sure that you are the lowest priced home out of all of the active homes that are similar to yours and you show the best. When you do that, you will get so much buyer interest because you will be the best value and you will actually end up getting more money than the people that will follow you. Now, we've seen this play out multiple ways and the good news is about 80 to 90% of our clients have listened to us. The hard part and sort of the bad news is that we have had clients not listen to us. And honestly, this is what has kept me up at night many a time. 
Um, and one particular time we had a client, all of our active sellers listened to us. They led the market. They made adjustments. Um, we ended up getting them sold for significantly higher than anyone that sold a month, even a month later. And we had one situation where one seller ended up getting six figures less than what we had told them they needed to do. And it still makes my heart hurt, even those words coming out of my mouth, uh, because the key here is if you lead the market, you will always get more money than the ones that follow it. And I have seen this play out. In that case, it played out where he, fo he followed versus led. And he ended up needing to sell. He ended up selling for six figures less than what he could have gotten if he would have led the market. And so I'm not saying that to scare you, um, but I also want to be truthful with you that it's so, so important, so, so important for you to lead the market, for you to be the best value. The truth is, is that you cannot underprice a home as long as it's being marketed well, which our marketing plan is the best one out there. And so you mix a good priced home, a, 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 a priced home where buyers see the value with an amazing marketing plan and you follow our launch system and all of that that goes with it, you end up getting top dollar for your house. But it starts with ensuring that we are the best value out there. So if, if the house is actually worth more than what you're priced at, the market will actually bid it up. That's good, okay? And so we want to make sure that we're priced the best value out there to ensure that you get the most money possible. Now, I spent, have spent hours reviewing all of our marketing plan, um, diving in. Anytime we see a softening or a shift, I look at our marketing plan, think, is there anything more we can do? Are we doing the best thing? And we absolutely are. We've added as much as we possibly know to add. So your home is being marketed to 1,200 plus marketing channels. It is um, highly sought after in terms of uh, buyer's eyes on your home. Um, and so that's the good news as well, um, that we know what we're doing. And yes, there's bad news in terms of interpreting, interpreting the market. And I am confident that we are going to get you the best value when you lead the market, when you lead the market. My one sort of big piece of advice in addition to leading the market is making sure right now that every buyer you take seriously. So if you get an offer, you want to take that seriously. If you have a buyer under contract and they're getting cold feet through home inspection or maybe appraisal, do your best um, to make that work. Do your best to make that work because it's so important. If we have a buyer, there's less buyers in a shifting and softening market. So if we have a buyer, we do not want to let that buyer go. We do not want to let that buyer go. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, maybe we should wait. Now, that could be the case if you're planning on staying in your home for 10 plus years, okay? But based on all of my research, we do believe that this is going to last anywhere between 18 to 36 months, so three years, um, which then means that right now you can take advantage of this major increase we had in values right now. All of our values are still much higher than they were 18 months ago. Um, and so it's important to take advantage of the values now it probably won't get to this value mark that we're at. My prediction is probably five to seven years. So if you are willing to wait five to seven years, maybe, okay? Um, but if you have a desire to sell right now is by far the best time to sell because you can take advantage of the amazing market um, that we've had over the last 18 months in terms of increase. Um, and then you don't have to follow it down and then wait for it to come back up. So if you have a desire to sell right now is the best time to get your house on the market and as quickly as possible. Some key things that you need to know are what to look for, right? Um, so be the best value out there, show the best. Um, we sh if we're priced correctly, you should be getting at least two to three showings a week. Um, after eight to 10 showings from ready to go buyers that have hired a buyer's agent. So these aren't open house showings. These are actual showings. Um, after eight to 10 uh, showings, you should get an offer. If those things don't happen, what that means is that the buyer saw a higher value in another home. So we will need to make an adjustment to ensure that you get the most money possible. But those are the key numbers that you want to be um, that you want to be working towards. Now we are on your side. We're on your team. We're here to help you. Your agent partner is here to help you. And so one of the things that I want to really impress upon you today is to listen to your agent partner. We I've spent half the day training our agents today four plus hours. 
already today. That's, that's daily. Your agents are highly trained and equipped to know what's going on and to help you. Um, but please, 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 you've got to listen to them. They're here to guide you. They're here to be beside you. Me as well as all of our partners as well are, are the same, but your agent partner is, is looking at it. And so when they're interpreting it, when they're giving advice, I would, it's not coming from a brand new agent that knows nothing. That's never seen this before. It is someone that has, is highly trained and skilled to help advise you to get the most amount of money, to get the most amount of money. So one to give you that market update in terms of what we're seeing happening, how you can get the most amount of money right now is let's be leaders, let's lead the market, let's have some amazing success stories with, man, I'm so thankful I didn't wait a year and a half and look at what the market is then, right? Um, and so let's be leaders, let's lead the market, and let's focus on getting you the most money possible right now for your home. And again, I cannot thank you enough for doing business with us and entrusting us. So. Take care. We are here to be beside you and so excited to get you to the finish line. Bye.